at last. Hello guys, welcome to Mr. Legend Crypto Markets Update. In the last seven days, we have seen some all coins pumping to the upside. Bitcoin is still trading above $28,000. In this video, we'll be taking a look at new stories happening in the crypto world. Where is the crypto market heading in the coming days and the coming weeks? We saw Ethereum get to as high as $1,900 in the last seven days. The All Coin Season Index is telling us we're still in the Bitcoin month. What implications would that have for the altcoin market in the coming days and the coming weeks? We'll take a look at Bitcoin dominance in the market, still around 47%. Are we going to see a bear market all season? We'll be talking about that and more in this video. But first guys, when it comes to investing, nothing will pay off more than educating yourself. And investment in knowledge pays the best interest. So all my returning subscribers, thank you for always supporting the channel. I appreciate you guys. If you're new to this channel and you want to get the latest crypto news, price predictions or chart analysis, this is the channel for you. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos like this. Let's get down to business. Seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The altcoin market is showing signs of life on a daily time frame, on a weekly time frame, also on a monthly time frame. Bitcoin is up more than 29% in the last one month. We saw altcoins rallying to higher prices starting the year on a very bright note, but that rally slowed down since February. Right now, some all coins are already showing signs of life pumping to the upside. Bitcoin has been going sideways for the last three weeks. Bitcoin's US dollar price chart on a weekly time frame, you can see that Bitcoin has traded in the last three weeks around the $26,000 region to the $29,000 region. Where will Bitcoin head in the coming days and the coming weeks? That will depend on the altcoin market. Bitcoin has seen a significant increase in price since the start of the year. Bitcoin has been very bullish, pumping up by more than 70 percent that's good to see the all coin season index is telling us all coins might be pumping to higher prices but first bitcoin will have to show us how high we should expect all coins to go bitcoin derivative favors for that btc price rally towards thirty thousand dollars bitcoin price might have held near twenty eight thousand dollars but the absence of short using margins and futures market is a bullish indicator so Bitcoin might be pumping to higher prices in the coming days and the coming weeks. And historical Bitcoin price factor hints at rally towards $50,000. Bitcoin price in 2023 is mirroring the 2015 fractal that saw BTC price double from $350 to $700 in seven months. BTC price in 2023 is playing exactly how we saw BTC price pan out in 2015. So the million dollar question is, Will Bitcoin rally to higher prices, maybe even getting to as high as $50,000 in the coming days and in the coming months? But Bitcoin retests at $28,000 as US job data boosts new Fed rate hike bets. Bitcoin price action does not warm to non farm payrolls numbers as analysts predict that the Fed continue to hike rates in May. So if Bitcoin sees a little dump in May, maybe just maybe we'll still be on course to hit that $50,000 level maybe by June or July. If we take a look at king of all coins in the market, Ethereum, we finally got to the $1,900 region in the last seven days, even getting to as high as $1,920. Ethereum has set a new high, even though Bitcoin is still ranging, Bitcoin has not been able to set a new high after where we pumped to in May of 2020. So this might just be the signal we've been waiting for to tell us that all coins are taking over. If the king of all coins in the market is pumping higher and Bitcoin is still going sideways, usually that's a good sign for all coins in the market. And the all coins season index is telling us we're heavily in Bitcoin month. In the next one month, I'll be shocked not to see the all coins season index pointing at us having an alt month because if we see all coins pumping to higher prices, we know how all coins can pump violently to the upside. I would expect to see all coins rallying massively. Maybe some of them setting a new high for 2023. And all coins season index in the next one month might be heading to the all coin month. So right now might be a very good time to accumulate all coins, getting ready for that pumping price. Still on all coins, Polygon become the second largest gaming blockchain after users' activity surge in March. 
Polygon overtook Hive for the second spot last month with Hunter's Unchained RPG Party driving the growth in unique active wallet. And Conflux proposed deploying Uniswap version 3, setting up $2 million liquidity pool for CXFPS. Following the expiration of Uniswap V3 code license in April 1st, Conflux seeks to deploy the centralized crypto trading protocol on its network. And if you take a look at the crypto income index, we have more than 54 projects with a market cap of over one billion dollars at the height of the bull run we had more than 135 projects that had a market cap of over a billion dollars and centralized exchange dydx announced winding down of services in canadian users we hope that the regulatory climate in canada will change over time to allow us to resume services in the country said the exchange the total crypto market cap excluding bitcoin and ethereum basically the altcoin market is still below 400 billion dollars the altcoin market was trading around 450 billion dollars in august of 2022 for us to rally back to that price point we'll have to see to that crypto market cap excluding bitcoin and ethereum pumped by more than 18 percent to the upside bitcoin has gone above that august 2022 price ethereum is heading towards that august 2022 price when it got to two thousand dollars with the altcoin market joining both bitcoin and ethereum in the coming days and the coming weeks we may even rally up to as high as the $500 billion region, but that will require us to rally by more than 32% to the upside. And if we take a look at the top 10 cryptocurrencies by market capitalization, Bitcoin is still the king of the market sitting at number one. Solana is sitting at number 10. Dogecoin had a massive week. Dogecoin is still up 8% in the last seven days. And we are seeing Ethereum outperforming Bitcoin in the last seven days. Ethereum is up 2.3%. Bitcoin is down 1.44%. And the coin converted Elix funds from Luna to Bitcoin. That's what South Korean prosecutors are saying. South Korea prosecutors have contacted Binance to request a halt on withdrawal linked to the coin. Liquidations in the crypto markets are rising in the last 24 hours. More than 11,000 traders have been liquidated, coming at a total liquidation cost of $21 million. The highest liquidation has been around $553,000. One trader was liquidated on OKX while trying to trade Ethereum. Bitcoin accounts for $3 million of the liquidation. Ethereum is the largest and accounts for over $6 million of the liquidation. Congressman Tom Emma says SEC Chair Gary Gensler is bad for fit regulator. The crypto-friendly congressman questions Gary Gensler's supposed open-door policy, suggesting he might have an open-door, but it's an enter-at-your-own-rigs door. The NFT marketplace LuxRare launches V2, reducing fees from 2% to 0.5%. The previous version of non-fungible token marketplace will be sunsettled by April 13, 2023. We are seeing fees getting reduced and that might just lead to more people buying NFTs, which in turn might mean the value of Lux Red Token might surge in price in the coming days and the coming weeks. If we take a look at the top gainers in the last seven days in the cryptocurrency market, see that number one, we have Solar XLP up 15%, Injective is up 14%, Engine Coin is up 13%, Chills is up 12%, and Curve DAO Token is up 9% in the last seven days. In the last seven days, Max Network has lost 10%, Arbitrum has lost 10%, Stax is down 9%, Singularity Net is down 8%, and Immutable X is down 8% in the last seven days. Bitcoin leads crypto market recovery as regulator turns up heat, mining stocks pours ahead, but VCs remain cautious as some are expecting a recovery in the crypto market. Celsius Network to make April 12th filing, including info on voting for restructuring plan. Our disclosure statement will provide a summary of the plan, account holders' recovery percentages, FAQs, and additional information on certain ring factors, said Celsius. If you take a look at our model portfolio, we're still up more than $157,000. Our profit coming to as high as $52,000. If you want to see more videos on the portfolio, you can check out the channel. There's a whole playlist about updates on the portfolio. We still have one Bitcoin in the portfolio. We're waiting for the altcoin market to pump to higher prices in the coming days and in the coming weeks. Tire political party looking at PM raise promises $300 in crypto upon victory. The country next general election will be held on the 14th of May, a time which all 500 seats in Thailand House of Representatives will be up for grabs. And Twitter seems to have blocked all interactions with tips containing Substack links. Elon Musk's free speech movement hits a speed bump as Twitter blocks interactions with countless crypto, blockchain, and Web3 blogs. Interesting to see how that will continue developing in the coming days and the coming weeks. Bitcoin dominance is currently stuck below 50%. 
If we see Bitcoin dominance dumping to Goblin Town in the coming days and the coming weeks, let's expect to see the altcoin market rallying to higher prices. But Bitcoin dominance continues surging to higher percentages, maybe getting to 50%. That will mean all coins might be heading further down to Goblin Town, or may mean the whole market might be dumping, and all coins are just dumping harder than Bitcoin. But I'll be favoring all coins pumping to higher prices just because the all coin season index tells us we're heavily in Bitcoin months, and after Bitcoin months, come alt months in the coming days and the coming weeks. Meta coughing up big money to developers building its metaverse, despite turbulent terms for Meta in terms of metaverse development, so this close to the company says its metaverse programmers are paid up to $1 million for their work. Woo, interesting to see. In Q1 of 2023, Crypto lost a lot of money to hackers. BNB chain had the most incidents during the quarter, while Ethereum saw the largest amount lost, with so more than $221 million lost on the Ethereum network in 2023 first quarter. If they look at the total crypto market cap, currently above $1 trillion, total crypto market cap is battling the region where we got rejected in August of 2022. When Bitcoin was trading around $25,000, we saw the total crypto market cap crypt this way to as high as $1.173 trillion. We have seen the crypto market cap try to rally above it, but we have gotten rejected. We have tried multiple times. At some point in time, we are going to blast above it or we are going to fall to lower prices. I'm favoring us of blasting above it. For us to get to the next level where we face possible bear market resistance heavily, we will have to rally up by more than 11% to the upside. We will carry the crypto market cap around $1.28 trillion. What will that mean for the price of Bitcoin? It will see a 10% increase to the upside. Guys, the price of Bitcoin will go above $30,000 for the first time since May of 2022. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Where do you see the crypto market heading to in the coming days and the coming weeks? Do you think Bitcoin will finally rally above $30,000? Or are we heading back to Goblin Town? Maybe Bitcoin might dump to as low as $25,000. And where do you see the altcoin market heading to in the coming days and the coming weeks? Will the altcoin season index be right yet again? Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos like this. Turn on the post notification to get notified anytime I drop a new video. Remember guys, invest for the long haul. Don't get too scared. Don't get too greedy. See you guys in my next video. Seven, one, two, three.